The last two days, the elite indies took the floor, but now it's time to make those competitors teammates. The star power on the floor with these super teams was undeniable, giving fans and spectators the show we've all been waiting to see. Three events and four total scores were on the line today, starting with start fast, finish faster. On team, the girls with Alexis Raptis, Fee Sagafi, and Christine Colombrander, they took an early lead, making it first to the shuttle runs. And then it was an absolute sprint between the rest of the ladies. Well, as much of a sprint as you can do after completing pistols all on the same leg. Close behind was the team with two former games champions and a likely future champ, the daughters featuring Mob with Katrin David's daughter, Annie Thor's daughter, and Mal O'Brien. The daughters featuring Mob, Team BPN, and AKA Humble Killers were all racing on the row, but the girls were again the first to advance. The daughters featuring Mob, Humble Killers, and the girls all hitting that last row almost simultaneously. And then it was a race for who can accumulate those final calories the fastest. And it was the girls who earned themselves an event win, followed by the daughters featuring Mob and Humble Killers finishing fourth. Now to the men, where a minor last-minute change for Team Panchik. Now they only have one brother as Tudor Magna replaced Scott Panchik. Team Canadian PB&J with Pat Vellner, Brent Fikowski, and Jeff Adler looking ready to compete with some style, all wearing cut-off flannels. The event kicked off with Noah Olsen, Travis Mayer, and Chandler Smith returning on Team The Boys in a foot race with the Smith Bros, Alec Ben, and Dane Smith. The two teams were almost synchro through each movement, with King, BK, and friends, including Tola Marquino, BKG, and Con Porter trailing close behind. But oh no, Noah! The boys pull way ahead, but then he starts his shuttle runs instead of heading to the row. Eventually, he made it to the row, and he was still able to manage keeping that lead ahead of the other teams. Just as the boys and the Smith bros were going rep for rep in the rower, King BK and friends destroyed the row, earning themselves an event win. Time for another part A and B event. To spectators, the workout might have looked like one, but the 5K is scored separately from the rest of the programming. The All-American girls finishing almost two minutes ahead of the second finishing team, the daughters featuring Mob. As for the 5K part of the workout, Invictus Chicks from the previous heat would take the win, finishing in 1536. For the boys, the Canadian PB&J are your early leaders in the men's heat, with the boys closing the gap on the swim in the second round. And then, in the third round, the boys pulled ahead with good dudes now pulling ahead of Canadian PB&J. The boys ultimately won Part B, followed by Team Go Wad, including Willie George, Roman Kronikov, and Jay Crouch. As for that 5K, Team Training Programming, again, a team from the previous heat, will take the win, finishing in 14-10. Ending the day with some synchro movements, ring and bar muscle-ups where athletes would face each other, but then synchro squat cleans and squat snatches, where the athletes will now be facing away from each other. A tough twist that forces the back athlete to follow the front athlete's pace. Invictus with teams Brittany Weiss, Debbie Kim, and Jesse Smith take the early lead, followed by team BPN with athletes Laura Horvath, Jamie Simmons, and Gabby Magawa. And AKA Humble Killers shifting positions by one rep through those synchro cleans and snatches. But it was BPN who made it back to the rig, also joined by the All-American girls, Brooke Wells, Amanda Barnhart, and Christy Aramo O'Connell. But BPN managed to hold that lead, taking the event win, followed by the American girls and then the girls. Hey, hey, Invictus Tiny Dancer with Joshua El Chamo, Jorge Fernandez, and Sam Dancer leading the way, but not too far behind from the other top teams. BK and Friends and Canadian PB&J then pulling ahead after the synchro bar work into those muscle-ups. But to close out the night, Team Gowad takes the win, followed by Canadian PB&J and BK and Friends. Still to come, one more day of competition for those elite teams. We'll be back here in the morning to crown all of our podium winners.